Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding find customer referee and try to walk you through how we can develop queries in such question. Okay, so let's get started. So in this question, we are given a table called customer which has three columns, ID, name, and referee ID, with ID being the primary key for this table customer. Each row of this table indicates the ID of a customer, their name, and the ID of the customer who referred them. Okay. So write a SQL query to report the IDs of the customer that are not referred by the customer with ID equal to two. Okay. The order of the result does not matter. And let's go through the example. Okay, so basically, looking at this table, so which all rows don't have referee ID equal to two? Because then only we are able to answer it, right? So report the ID. So the customers which were not referred by customer ID equal to two. So if we exclude these rows, then uh, we find the customers which were referred by someone else than customer number two, right? So from this, the output should be Will, Jane, Bill, and Zach. And that is what we get uh, back as well. Also, this question was, has been asked in Amazon twice in last two years. Okay, so let's go ahead and start building the query. So the first thing that we need to do is from this table customer, we are required to keep only those rows where the referee ID is not equal to two. So this is the not equal to sign in SQL. And then we are asked to return the name, right? So return name. Now, let me run this query and see what problem it might have. Okay. So I run this query and let's see uh, what do we get. Okay, so it says wrong answer. And we for us, the only value that was returned was Zach, but it should return Will, Jane and Bill as well, right? So why is this happening? Because what happens is that SQL recognizes so only keep records where referee ID is not equal to two. So basically it is ignoring and excluding where referee ID is equal to null as well, right? So that is the problem that we are facing here. So the only thing to make this entire query correct is to add another line. So either your referee ID is not equal to two. So it can be one, three, five, whatever. And for these cases where the referee ID is mentioned null, or the referee ID is null, if we include it, then it is also going to include the names of people will like will Jane bill, etc. So where or referee ID is null. Now let's go ahead and run this. So yeah, uh, this is accepted and our output is as uh, equal to what is being accepted. Let's go ahead and submit it and see if this passes all the test cases. So yeah, it is accepted and it passes all the test cases. So yeah, this is how we solve this question. And another reason why uh, we need to, you know, look through the example and try to see the uh, sample output because again uh, just like the previous video if you just uh, refer to the language of this question we, we won't be able to guess what is the problem or why are we getting the wrong answer so that is why go even after going through this language and if you think you have understood the question correctly just go through the uh, through, go through the example as well and just uh, verify the logic that you have developed in your mind and see that if it matches uh, to what the expected output is. 
If it does, then go ahead and write and build the query. Okay, let me know guys if you found it useful and I will see you guys in the next video.